These elite assholes throw a lot of big parties. Yeah. Another chance for Nathan Prescott to dose somebody. Pretty much. Good thing I left my AK at home. <laughs> now why would Frank Bowers have your bracelet? Good question. I should feel lucky to be here. Hmm. Yes. And no. If my tornado vision came true, it would be the end of the world. Oh god. If only I knew what David Madsen was really up to. Excuse me, Mr. Madsen? I know things got a little heated yesterday in Chloe's room. Was that really your reefer? Oh, he's asking. Oh. I think... <sighs> Frick. Well, let's see what happens. No, it belonged to a friend of mine. Are you going to bust me now, Mr. Madsen? Even I'm not that much of an asshole. And I am sorry about yesterday. I was wrong, but upset. Cannabis is not a big deal to you. But it has been to Chloe. You're a combat veteran. She's no threat to you. If I didn't care about her, I wouldn't care at all. When I was her age, I was out raising a lot more hell. She's better than that. All you kids are. So is Kate Marsh. Kate's not raising hell. But you treat Kate pretty bad. You step between us at a pretty bad time. She's another matter entirely. What is she doing? Kate hasn't done anything wrong. Max, this isn't just about Kate Marsh. My concern is for the safety of all Blackwell students, including you. That'll take more than surveillance cameras. It will take more than Ms. Grant and her petition to find missing students. Isn't that your responsibility as head of security? Unless you know something about Rachel Amber that nobody else does. I don't want to fight with you anymore. I don't want to fight with anyone anymore. That's all, Max. You best not bother chatting me up now. Yeah. I mean, the, the apology was nice and then it just went right downhill. Trevor surveys his domain. <laughs> Zachary always looks like he's ready to throw a football. Blackwell sure takes its swimming seriously. But otters are cute. Hello, Zach. Sup, Max? It's weird to not see you without your camera. I'm always taking pictures with my eyes. <laughs> I bet. As long as you don't talk to everybody about all that shit with the sext in Victoria. It's over. Just another Blackwell mini-drama. You mean stupid shit. Man, I just don't get Victoria. What does she want? Probably for all of us to talk about her. Like now. Then let's not. <laughs> You're pretty smart, Max. See you at the game Friday. Hmm. Look at these trophies. Gotta give it up for those Bigfoots. They do stomp. I'm still really confused as to whether or not Zachary, because she said, Zach said that he sexted her as a joke. So, which made it sound like he did actually do it. And then the email said she just told her that it happened. Like you Victoria just told her. About school by the weird shit posted on the boards. I think we've looked at all of these. So... I'm just going to move on. Maybe you owed money to Frank too. That would be something, wouldn't it? Desperate much? We're already here. The world is yours today. I'm going to find out what happened to you, Rachel. Hello, climate change. Does anybody believe this shit? We're watching something. Can't talk to Samuel. I should go and see what I can learn. 
Global warning freak snow. Yesterday's unique snowfall was another eco sign that climate change is no myth. Come join other Blackwall students and faculty at a campus gathering to discuss what you can do to prevent a second ice age. If I was normal, I'd be super excited about going to a major shindig. Yeah. Join us or die. <laughs> Courtney will do anything for Victoria in the Vortex Club. Hey, Courtney. Ciao, Max. No photos, please. I have to come up with a guest list for a Vortex Club soiree. Really? Oh, like you care. Uh, apparently I do. I'm not anti-soiree. You seem anti-fashion, though. A Vortex Club party has a strict dress code. Do you even have a dress? <laughs> Sorry, but nice try. Hey. Hey, Courtney. Ciao, Max. No. F really? Oh, like you care. I'm sure the Vortex Club has a dress code. As you can see, I would need your advice on what to wear. Thanks, Max. I didn't think you noticed high fashion. <laughs> Tell you what, I'll put you down on the guest list, and before the party, I can give you some tips. Cool. Thanks, Courtney. I'll send you the party info later. Back to the list. I don't even... Like, why would it matter? Hey, Courtney. Ciao, Max. Really? Oh, like you care. You're right. I don't. Making my guest list easier. Ciao. That's cool. I don't need to be. I. If Max is trying to make friends with everybody. Ugh. I don't know. I don't know. I really don't. Let's go ahead and just do it. Hey, Courtney. Ciao. Really? Oh, like. I'm sure the. Thanks. Cool. I'll send you. It's better to just stay far away from the Vortex Club is humanly possible, but... So you can almost shoot somebody on Monday and party on Friday? <laughs> Prescott power. I think Max would, I don't know, want to try on some level. I don't know. Warren again? Hey girl, I'm in the sci-fi lab now. No Schrodinger's kitty. See you soon. Oh, Frank. I'll never forget Frank if only because he's the first and last person I will ever aim a gun at. How did Chloe end up in this sketchy drug dealer's orbit? The weird thing is that when I first saw him threatening Chloe in the junkyard, I was more shocked how uncreepy he looked. I expected some try-hard gangster, but he looked more like a dumpster diving troll, which I guess he kind of is since we were on his turf testing out my rewind skills for Chloe's amusement. So does he own the junkyard? Though he didn't look like a serial killer, his vibe, aura, energy, whatever, was bad. I could literally feel the hair on my arms prickling. He wanted the money Chloe owed him, so it didn't make sense he would hurt her, but I wasn't going to take a chance, so yes, I actually threatened him with David's gun. Ridiculous. Fortunately, none of us ended up like reservoir dogs, and I saw that maybe Frank isn't as scary as I thought. But I don't want Chloe near him ever again, since he was wearing one of Rachel Amber's bracelets for what the fuck reasons. I doubt Chloe will be partying with him anymore, but he's at the top of our suspect list now. Just when I thought shit couldn't get crazier, Chloe took me to her secret lair, the city dump, perfect for Halloween, like where the vehicle and appliance ghosts of Arcadia Bay come to rot and rust. Urban dystopia porn, but instead of taking cool photos, Chloe had me do some silly kind of fun gun tricks till the guy Chloe owes money to showed up, some skeevy guy called Frank. He demanded Chloe pay him back or else. I was shocked that he wasn't the loan shark I had expected, but I could literally feel his bad vibe. I still can't see how my best friend ended up involved with a loser like Frank. Things got truly crazy when Frank took Chloe's gun, or should I say David's gun? And now we have to worry about one more lunatic after Chloe, and maybe me. Chloe really flipped out when she saw that Frank was wearing one of Rachel Amber's bracelets. That means we definitely have another suspect. 
This is so not how I intended to spend my time back in Arcadia Bay. After all that drama-rama, volume 33, Chloe and I ended up taking a walk along the tracks deep in the woods. We both needed to hear nothing but the sounds of nature and wildlife. I was shaking inside from our encounter with Frank, and though Chloe fronts tough, I could tell she was shaken too. She told me everything about Frank, which explains why she was trying to blackmail Nathan. It shocks me that the girl I grew up with watching Spongebob ended up in such a scary orbit. Still, I felt safer with her at my side, and I was glad we had a moment of peace. So it probably wasn't the best idea to lay down on the tracks and wax about life, etc. as Chloe's leg got caught in the rail just as the goddamn train showed up. Of course I was off trying to take a photo for my portfolio, and then I had another quick flash of my tornado vision. I could see it, almost feel it, tearing the sky apart. My head felt like it was exploding, like in that 80s film Scanners. Just as fast as the vision came in, it disappeared. I may be in denial about what this apocalyptic image means or doesn't. Then I heard Chloe screaming for help, and I was shitting kittens. Her foot was stuck in the damn rail, and naturally the train was coming around the mountain. I was pretty proud of myself for coming up with a drastic, if not destructive, solution to saving Chloe once again, but just in case this journal ever falls in the wrong hands, it's going to remain our BFF secret, so there. Our morning adventure over, Chloe dropped me off back at my campus. She was so sweet and said that this had been the best week of her life despite everything. Made me feel so awesome. Chloe really sees us like we're taking over the world, but what if I hadn't been able to use my rewind power to get her off the tracks? Chloe might have to lower her expectations. And so will I. I still have time. I could go see Warren playing mad scientist in the lab. We'll go see Warren. Luke is always using the phone as a shield to avoid people. I saw Victoria and her friends shopping for the party. That reminds me, I have to score some weed from Nathan. Juliet is laying the smack down on Zachary. I really hope this jackass will use protection next time. <laughs> uh, Alright, let's go this way. Hi, Miss Grant. Miss Grant is so cool and smart. She defines the word teacher. I think the first time I played this, I totally skipped this entire section. Brooke always kind of pretends like I'm almost not there. Why? You really have to ask? Howdy, Brooke. Hi, Max. Making your daily rounds? How is your drone? Miss Grant busted me flying it over the parking lot. This can't She's be all jacked hard. up about surveillance bullshit. Like I was spying on Warren's new car. <laughs> you already planted a GPS on him? I borrowed the one he has on you. I hate to hit him, Warren, <laughs> but... Don't let me get in your way. So long. You having trouble there, Warren? Bring me the brain, Igor. <laughs> While I'm here... There's Mr. Wizard, hard at work. Hey, Warren. Are you okay? You look... Thoughtful yet confused. Maxwell Silver Hammer. Perfect timing. I need help with this chemical experiment. Asking me for help means you're screwed. I have to add either a bit of potassium or sodium. It's up to you to decide, Dr. Max. Mm, how would I know? Warren, this seems kind of dangerous. You might as well flip a switch, Frankenstein. I'm the only mad scientist without a faithful Igor. I'll choose using the scientific method. Heeny, meeny, miny, mo. Potassium. Mm. Weird science. Was that what needed to happen? Yes, I am a scientist. Fuck. Was that what you wanted? Hey, Warren. Maxwell. So he added me. Have that. So lots of potassium. <laughs> I actually think you should use a lot of potassium. I mean, a shitload. See, look at that smile. You're going to become a scientist yet. Let's do this thing. She blinded me with science. 
Yes! That was a blast! But let's keep it a professional secret. Cool? No problem. Again we meet, Brooke. This is true, Max. Oh. I'm helping Warren with his latest experiment. Oh, I guess he needed a neophyte assistant so he wouldn't be threatened. But you came to his rescue anyway. Not me. Warren doesn't need my help. The boy knows things. I need to know if you can help me with a potassium experiment. No can do, Max. I'm all about robotics, not chemistry. Give me a drone over a beaker. I hate to hit and run, but... Don't let hmm. me get in your way. Okay. So the experiment isn't over. I bet if I touch the glass, all these creepy sea critters will pop up. Or nothing will happen at all. Aww. Can I ask you about the secret? I have to finish this lab, Max. Sorry. Just wondering if there's anything else back here to interact with. Wonder why they don't use real skeletons. Stop acting so brittle. Being on a viral video does that, so you can't help Maybe me. Maybe this is your- I'm trying, but you have to understand my position. It's all over, like me. Knock off this martyr crap. What do you want from me? I want you to be honest. Nobody believes me anyway. Stop acting so brittle. Being on a viral video does that. Maybe this is your way of getting attention. <sighs> That's really mean, Mr. Jefferson. You just don't get it. Just leave me alone. You have to talk to me, Kate. Why? It's all over, like me. Knock off this martyr crap. What do you want from me? I want you to be honest. Nobody believes me anyway. Stop acting so brittle. Being on a viral video does is it, is it just gonna loop? I'm trying, but you have to understand my position. Why? You don't understand mine. Nobody does. Nobody. Kate! Kate, 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 hey. Please Kate! Leave me alone. No, Kate. You don't need to be alone right now. Ugh, Kate. Kate, please don't go, Kate. Stop! Don't come near me. Kate! Meh? Oh. I hate having everybody see inside my locker. Nobody cares what's inside your locker. Okay, I, th I thought maybe she'd say something, like, different. Am I stuck? Okay. I love how Evan is so above the Vortex Club and everything else. Yo, Maxwell Smart. Talk later, cool? Okay. I wish you and Chloe had run away earlier. Yeah. I wish you and Chloe had run away earlier. I want this one. I shouldn't be so stingy with my blood. Give it up. <laughs> All right, Jefferson will trigger the next thing. And I think there's more in here, so. Fire blanket. Or if you set stuff on fire, like students will do. Hi, Miss Grant. Funny, I was just thinking about you, Max. Thanks again for taking a stand against camera surveillance here. Every signature counts. How's your campaign going? You signed the petition, now it's your campaign too. Thanks for stepping up. More people would rather send a text than sign a petition. That's well. how they keep us all distracted. 
Nobody will notice cameras on every square foot. I know. I really hope you keep those cameras from taking over Blackwell. Max, with students like you, we sure will. That doesn't really answer the question as to how it's going. I'm just thinking about all the autumn photos I want to take. Oh, this is my favorite time of year. I do love the season change. This whole campus is a visual delight. I know Mr. Jefferson loves to shoot around here. You know Jefferson? You must know Mr. Jefferson pretty well by now. I certainly know him as a talented artist and terrific teacher. I've been here a little longer, but he's made a bigger mark. I have to say, it's not quite autumn enough yet. Anything about the snow? What about that snow yesterday? What's your scientific explanation? Our climate is moving beyond explanation. Of course, some of the tribes here might see it different. And not elaborating on that. Miss Grant, can I ask you a possibly dumb science question? You know my stock teacher answer. There are no dumb questions. Ask away. Would you add potassium or sodium to a chemical mix for this week's experiment? Neither. Unless you want a face full of powder, I would add chlorine. I'm sorry, Miss Grant, but I have to get going. Go on, Max. We'll talk again. Real soon. I don't think I can rewind back that far. Yes! That was a blast! But let's keep it a professional secret. Cool? Can I rewind back that far? That's really far. But it looks like it's gonna let me. Yes! That was a blast! But let's keep it a professional secret. Cool? Go further. Yes! Oh that my god. Blast. But let's keep it a professional secret. Cool? Okay, it will let me rewind that far. Hey, Warren. Are you Maxwell Silver Hammer. Asking me f I have to add either a bit of- Apparently it's chlorine. Wrong, Warren. You need to add chlorine. Not potassium or sodium. Chlorine? <laughs> I didn't think of that. Can't argue with a confident scientist. Let's try it. Eureka! She's got it. No, you got it. Don't be so modest, Dr. Caulfield. <laughs> that was fun helping Warren. He's pretty cute when he's in full-on geek mode. Check out the big brain on Max. You might be the next Heisenberg of Blackwell. Okay. Now, did Kate leave? Or do we gotta watch that again? Yeah, we do. Your way of getting attention. That's really mean, Mr. Jefferson. You just don't get it. Just leave me alone. You have to talk to me, Kate. Why? It's all over. No, just like, end. Not end. Off this martyr crap. What do you want from me? Excuse me, Max. Can you come over here? Oh, I see. I'm not important to you anymore. Nobody cares about me. Nobody! Just between you and me? I'm worried about Kate Marsh. That's no secret. Word on the street is that you and Kate had a little confrontation with our security chief yesterday. Yes. I stepped in between David Madsen barking all up in Kate's face about something. She doesn't deserve that. Of course not. <laughs> Mr. Madsen isn't the most gentle soul. Do you have proof he instigated the situation? My word isn't good enough? <sighs> the one time I choose not to take a picture. Always take the shot. My number one rule of photography. And Max? I promise this matter is being discussed by the faculty. I assume you know about this viral video? Mm-hmm. 
Kate is freaked out by all of this. She can't do homework while she's being tormented on a daily basis. What if Kate brought this on herself? She means well, but maybe she doth protest too much. She seems like she's holding back the truth. Have you talked to her? Yes, I talked to her on the phone today. And in her she room. She needs friends and support now. I just don't want Kate Marsh to become the next Rachel Amber. Rachel Amber? What does she have to do with Kate? With all her missing persons posters around, it's hard not to think of her. I miss Rachel too. But think about yourself, Max. Principal Wells told me about what you said happened in the bathroom. Yeah, it happened. It did happen. Nathan Prescott had a gun in the girls' bathroom yesterday. This is a serious accusation, Max. So you don't believe me? I would never make something like this up. I hope so, Max. But it's easy to point fingers. If Mr. Madsen claims you might be a pot dealer as he did, should I believe him? Listen, should I... Excuse me, Max. Hello? Yes? Uh, hold on. I have to take this, so just go into class and I'll be there soon. <sighs> just full of adults, not doing a good job at adulting. Excuse me, can I eavesdrop on your phone conversation? Sure, okay. Listen, I do have a class I have to teach. I have to go. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'll do that. Oh, it, I know. That makes sense. Huh? Mm -mm. Seriously, I have to hang up now. Let's talk about this later. We'll talk later, okay? I have to go. Because I can't have this conversation with you right now, okay? Would you please just hang up the phone? Okay. Mm hmm. Uh huh? Yes. Okay, I don't think we're- I don't think he's actually gonna hang up the phone. Uh-huh. Yeah. Stella is smart to stay out of all the drama. Yeah. Dana, you are out of- I guess I'm out of time to turn in a photo for the contest. Irony. How do I look, Taylor? You look like ass. Even in pictures, the forest around here always looks mysterious. So in Life is Strange 2, we get the other side of that phone Arcade conversation. Bay looks way more majestic here. But I don't know if I accept that. <laughs> Whoa, Mr. Jefferson is not messing around with that monster. I have a he theory. He probably paid 20 grand for that camera. I bet he gets pristine digital images. But I still dig my little instant camera. I have a theory about who he was really talking to before they did that. It's hard to not like Hayden because he just doesn't give a shit. I'm kind of doing something now, Max. <laughs> That's a great sketch of Dana. Daniel is the real deal. Dana OO posing? Daniel is always on the outside looking in. What's up, Daniel? Waiting to draw Dana after Hayden gets his paparazzi on. I hope you liked the sketch I did of you yesterday. Yes. Love. And it's my new avatar. Excellent. I got tons of likes on FB. Ah, made you blush. Nobody calls it that. Someday your portrait may hang in the Daniel de Costa wing of the Louvre. We'll it won't. It later. It won't. <laughs> Alyssa really lives for her classes. That's kind of an odd shot, isn't it? Huh. Not now, Max. I'm contemplating shit. <laughs> okay. 
What is this? Okay. Oh, okay. He can't be on the phone with who I thought he was on the phone of. Dana is ready for her 15 minutes of fame. No time to talk, Max. Posing in progress. Do you think Max will be pissed we're sitting at her desk? No. Oh, I'm sure she'll report us to the principal. Like I give a flying fuck. Or she'll run to Mr. Jefferson like he gives a shit. Like anybody does. Max is such a little... Shh, I think she can hear us. <gasps> like you're not talking loudly on purpose so that she can hear you. So cool to see Mr. Jefferson's actual published pictures. Gives me hope. It just looks like, uh... If that's a photo of his. It's... I like Taylor's artistic side, not her personality. No time to talk, Max. Art in progress. That was amazing when Mr. Jefferson took a class picture the first week. Even though I didn't want to be in the picture at all, it was fairly fucking cool to watch him at work framing us. Hmm. I might have I might have looked at some of the stuff before. All right. I don't want to talk to Nathan. Even if Victoria ignores me, I'm glad we talked yesterday. I can't believe the principal lets him stay in school after I told him what happened. You can't prove it. Better be quiet, Victoria. We have a master snitch and liar here. Did you think we were best friends forever or something? Not at all, Victoria. Max is such an attention whore. You would know. Can I sit down now? Oh, please do. Take a selfie of this moment. Yeah, Max. So I won't forget you. Assholes. <sighs> what they said makes no sense. Just ignore them. Kate. Okay, why is David taking photos of Kate? Now this is so wrong and weird. What does he think Kate is? Well, I guess because the video, I guess, but it's messed up. Can I get up? No? I have to sit here? Hi. What up, Max? Hey, Warren. I saw Kate earlier and her eyes were puffy from crying. Kate has a lot on her plate. I didn't know what to say and she, she didn't tell me anything. Okay, I know you love me, but if you're not in this class, beat it. Everybody else, please sit Maybe down. I'll see we you have later. a lot to cover today and so little time as usual. I see all the usual suspects here. Anybody seen Kate Marsh? I think yeah. everybody has seen Kate Marsh by now. <laughs> She's not feeling good. Sounds like you're giggling about a video gone viral. Maybe it involves a student or a friend. I wonder how it would feel to have false images of yourself shot out all over the world for people to judge. No smartphones in class, Max. <sighs> Put that away. Usually, people need something to judge so they never take a good look at themselves. We can thank reality TV for some of that. In the end, we can only blame ourselves for participating. Speaking of participation, there are a few souls here who have yet to enter a photo in the contest. Like Max Caulfield, for example. Mm -hmm. Who I know can't wait to enter, right? I'm sure you read the syllabus. It's cool that Mr. Jefferson published his own little book of photo tips. Like it was a Harry Potter book, so you must know today we're studying chiaroscuro. That beautiful word about the contrast between light and dark. The shadow play that gives photography such visual power. It's basic yin what? and yang. Black and white images are effective precisely because... Why? <laughs> ...of their contrast. Although we don't technically see in Monaco. Yo! Some crazy shit is going down at the girls' dorm! Zachary, I guess not Kate will miss class, class now. Like again. Listen, I'm worried about her. Remain seated. <laughs> Dismissed. <laughs> Oh. Is this for real? 
Pitch flipped out. I didn't think she was that messed up. Yeah, well, you were all dicks. So congrats. Why am I blocked by birds? Oh. Alyssa and Warren. Alright, alright. Oh, David. He's trying. That's something. Go to the roof. to do this by myself? Max, seriously, don't come near me. I will jump. Okay, okay. I'm right here. Kate, please. Oh, Max, I know you want to help me. I love that you stepped up to David, but it doesn't matter now. Nothing matters. It's not true. You matter, and not just to me. I do want to believe that. Kate, your life is still yours. And we can get through this together. Let me help. Like I helped by erasing all that crap people wrote on your room slate. I'm glad to hear you worry about me. That makes me feel better. <sighs> I'll always be here for you, Kate. My new motto is, friends come first. I did feel better talking to you on the phone. I always feel like you really listen. Kate, please trust me. Come stand by me, okay? I can help you now. I know I can. This morning I erased the web link to the video. It was written on the shower room mirror. Are you serious? Thank you so much. The fact that you don't care about that video and would come up here to stop me means a lot. I care about you because I believe you were drugged. We will find out who did this and make them pay. You sound so persuasive, Max. If only... Kate, I believe you. Will you believe me? Please, you don't have to do this. Max, I'm in a nightmare and I can't wake up unless I put myself to sleep. Then everybody at Blackwell can post pics of my body. I'm horny on the internet forever. No wonder they call it a web. Nothing can ever get out. Like my video. I wish I could go back in time and erase everything. Oh, <laughs> frick. Nobody cares, Kate. That's There'll not be true. will another viral Victoria video in a day and everybody will forget. You can't scrub my video from the internet. And that's how I'll be remembered. Unless I... No, no, no. No, no, Kate, no, no, no. you can't do this to all the people who care about you. No. Nobody cares about me. Nobody. 
Okay, that was the wrong. Your dad. Kate, I saw that card from your father. You can count on him. He clearly loves you without question. Dad does care, even though I hurt him. He's the only one I know who believes in me. See? You're not alone. And nobody down there wants to see you up here. This isn't the end, Kate. There's no way God doesn't have big plans for you here. Nice try, Max. But God put me on this roof. Uh, she had Matthew in her book. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Matthew 11, 28. I can't believe you quoted one of my favorite passages. Like I said, I care about you. I know this passage means a lot to you. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. What are you talking about? You saved me from talking in class. 